exploratory data, data analysis course. Myself, Assistant Professor Vinay Prabhavalkar, Department of CAC AML at KITS College of Engineering, Autonomous, Kolhapur. In this video, we will go for Unit 1, Lesson 1. The objectives of this particular lesson are definition of exploratory data analysis and understanding a data set. So, let us get started. We will begin with the definition of exploratory data analysis. First of all, I will read out the definition and thereafter I will elaborate on the definition points. So, EDA is nothing but a process of performing initial investigations on data so as to gain new insights into data, discover patterns, spot anomalies and mistakes, detect outliers in data, understanding the relationship between variables and test assumptions with the help of summary stats and graphical representations. So, this is the definition of exploratory data analysis. Now, let me explain to you in a very short way the exact meaning of the definition of EDA. Now, as we can read here from the initial statement, EDA is nothing but the initial investigation. Now, this investigation is performed on the data that is present with us. Now, when I talk about the uh, initial investigations, there has to be certain aim or several aims to perform these investigations. So, what are these aims? So, these aims are written over here, we will capture them one after the other. So, the first aim for performing the initial investigations through EDA is nothing but to gain new insights into data. Now, what is the meaning of gaining insights into data? Let us assume that you have some data with you. Now, when we have a data, the very first step that we need to do is to understand the content that is present. So, let me just say I have a data set with me. Now, once I have that data set, I will try to see how many columns and how many rows I have in that data set. This is the first step that I will do. Secondly, after I understand the number of rows and columns in the data, further I will try to see what are the different column heads. Once I understand the different column heads, I will try to find out the exact content present in each of the columns. For example, if I am having a data set of students, let us say for exam of a student or exam of students in a class, the data set will have the PRN number, the role number, the uh, class of the student, the courses that students has undertaken, the result as a total and as a percentage, the student name. So, for each of these columns, gaining insights means what sort of data is present in each of the columns, firstly we need to figure out. So, basically, the point one here is nothing but getting an understanding of the data that is present in the data set. So, this is the first initial investigation we can perform on the data set with the help of the exploratory data analysis. Point number two, discover patterns. Let me take an example of a departmental store. Now, we all know during the rainy seasons, most of us will purchase some raincoats or umbrellas. So, if the departmental store wants to find out how many uh, customers purchase the umbrellas and how many customers purchase the raincoats over the years. So, this discovery of a pattern can be done. Now, when I say a pattern, what I mean is the purchasing of umbrellas and raincoats will be done only during the rainy season. So, this is point number two. Point number three is spot anomalies and mistakes. Now, there can be mistakes in the data that is present with us. So, mistakes are nothing but some wrong data. So, finding out the mistakes is one of the initial investigations that we can make with the help of EDA. 
Now let's talk about anomalies. Now what can be an anomaly? Anomaly is nothing but an abnormal value. Let us consider some medical case. Let's say uh, a doctor is analyzing blood pressure for a patient. Now if the values of the blood pressure are more than the range or less than the range then that can be an anomaly. Such anomalies can be easily detected with the help of exploratory data analysis. Point number four, detect outliers in data. Now let me give you an example for understanding the exact meaning of an outlier. Let's say you are having a column in your data set called as age. Now we all know the age has a max value of 100. Even if you go for filling any form on the internet, the max value for age would be 100. Now there is very very less likely that people will live above the age of 100. Even though they live, the number of such people is very very less and the values that can be got after 100 can be 101, 102 and 103 but not more than that. Now suppose in our column in the age feature in the age field if we have a value for age as 150 that can be considered as an extreme outlier. If we have let us say a value of 110 that can be considered as an outlier. So detecting such outliers is also possible with the help of exploratory data analysis. Next point, understanding the relationship between variables. Now there are a few variables in the data set sometimes which are having a direct proportion or indirect proportion with each other. In some cases when variable A increases, variable B also increases. When variable A decreases, variable B also decreases. So these are the variables having a direct relationship with each other. On the vice versa situation, when a variable A decreases, variable B increases. When variable A increases, variable B decreases. So here is an example of inverse proportion. So when we have data in a data set, we need to again figure out the relationship between the variables. So it is quite possible with the help of exploratory data analysis techniques to find out the relationship between the variables. And the last point that we can cover as an initial investigation under exploratory data analysis is testing the assumptions. Now let us consider an example. Let's say there is a bulb manufacturing company and they want to test an assumption. Let's say after every 1 lakh manufactured bulbs, if they are having an assumption, 10 bulbs are faulty. So this assumptions can be easily tested with the help of the data that is present. So these are some of the initial investigation operations that can be sought out with the data that is the statistical information present with us and finally some graphical presentations can be drawn. Now when I say graphical presentations, I mean the graphs, the plots, the charts all is possible which give us a graphical interpretation of the data. So this is a holistic definition of exploratory data analysis. Now let us go to the point number two, the second objective in our lesson one. The second objective is understanding a data set. Now let us see what is a data set. As we can read here in this slide, a data set is nothing but it is a set of data which is grouped and a collection is formed. Now there are different types of data sets such as numerical data set, time series data set, image data set and a web data set.
so now what is a numerical data set we can see a image here of a table which is nothing but a numerical data set now here what we can see is all the content that is present in this particular data set is nothing but numbers so hence such a data set is called as a numerical data set second is a time series data set now what can be a time series data set a data set again which is having some numbers but when we say a time series data set we are talking about the uh, content of date and time present in the data set so this particular data set again can relate to the time series data set as the first column is date so in these both types the numerical data set and time series data set we are working with numbers and precisely with the time series data set alongside the numbers we are also working with date and time so these are the two different types of data sets the third data set is called as an image data set now an image data set to give you an example let us suppose we have image of a cat or a dog now the cat and dog these species can be of different breeds so such a data set can be having different types of images of cats or different types of images of dogs so such a data set is called as an image data set and lastly the web data set in case of web data set the only interpretation is the data is scraped from different websites with the help of apis and web scrapers and the data set that is generated is collected into a json format so now these are the different types of data set i have given a very short explanation on different data sets let's go ahead and see the extensions that are to be used with with these data sets so here we can see prominently three extensions i have written csv excel and json csv stands for comma separated values excel is nothing but the normal excel file that we use and the json is nothing but javascript object notation format so the data sets can be available in each of these different formats so here we have come to end of lesson 1 lesson 2 will include significance of exploratory data analysis and steps involved in the exploratory data analysis thank you